Welcome to another Agno AI Agent Development Tutorial. In this video, we are going to build a movie recommendation agent that will utilize EXA API to search the web for movie info and suggest movies based on your personal preference. If you have never heard of Agno before, Agno is a lightweight, open source, agentic AI framework for building fast, multimodal AI agents with minimal effort. This is going to be a beginner friendly tutorial. The only thing you need is some Python experience, access to a generative model, and an EXA account. To get started, launch a terminal and run the command to install Agno EXA in Genai model providers Python libraries. Now in your code editor, create a blank Python file and name a agent movie recommendation.py. In the script, import the required Python dependencies. EXA API automatically checks for the API key using the EXA API key environment variable. Either save EXA API key environment variable in an EMV file or create an environment variable in your system. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the OS module to hard code the environment variable. Next, Set up the movie recommendation agent. In the agent setup, give the agent a name and assign a model. Markdown and show tool calls parameters are optional. It really depending on your preference if you want the output to be markdown and display a message when agent is calling a tool. To work with EXA API, we will be using the default EXA tools function from Agnos tools library. EXA gives $10 credit for free plus another $5 if you use their playground, which should last you for a while. Now, when it comes to building a highly capable and behaved agent, two things are extremely critical beside the agentic AI framework. One is the function tools agent can access, and the other one is the system prompt to define agent's behavior and instructions. We already have the EXA tool created, that leaves the system prompt in instruction. In the description parameter, which is the system prompt to define how an agent should behave and handle user's requests. We will first tell the agent its specific role. Next, we will define the approaches to analyze user input for their movie preference and requirements. For the output, these are the items each movie recommendation should include followed by the guideline to present the output. There are many ways to craft a prompt. Definitely try different styles to see what works for you. And in the instructions parameter, which are the steps the agent should follow to generate the response, insert the four steps starting from the analysis phase. Believe it or not, we are done creating the movie recommendation agent. I will show you two different ways to interact with the movie recommendation agent. One is using Python directly, and the other way is using Agno Playground UI. To interact with the agent directly in Python, use either the print response function or the run function if you need to store the output for future use. In the request, I will ask the agent to suggest five action movies released from 2022 to watch with friends or family. And here are the five movie suggestions. Overall, I think the list is pretty spot on. If my prompt is more precise and specific, it should give an even more tailored list. And to use Agno Playground as UI, make sure you have SQL Alchemy and Fast API installed. Set up the Playground server like what I have here. Then run the script to launch the Playground. Same thing in the Playground, I will ask the agent to suggest a few movies to watch with friends or family. Now, because my request is missing a few required criteria that I specified in the instruction, it will ask me a follow-up question to fill the missing detail. 
Again, I forgot to provide the key criteria. Let me provide a movie genre this time. And that concludes this Agno Movie Recommendation Agent Development Tutorial. I hope you find the video useful. If there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, if you are a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.